Hello and welcome to a new live stream here from the Kartrack Studio in Essen, Germany. Uh, I hope you had a great uh, weekend. Uh, Philo is back from his uh, sick leave. More or less. More or less. Um, if he is leaning forward or sitting down, uh, he's still having some issues, some health issues, but he did not want to miss this live stream. So Thanks. thank you very much for being here. Thank you. You turned uh, into the uh, stream for, uh, from Kartrak, the producer of uh, playing cards and greatest effects possible for magicians. Um, easy to perform, and uh, but very, very strong. And one day I have a great intro where I just read what I want to say and then it's good. But today we have a great topic. It will be about uh, Packetrix, the last time. We already did it two weeks. Part um, three. Part three. We will do several slides of hands uh, that you will learn. Elmsley count, Jordan count, Hammond count. Last but not least, uh, you will show a trick using these. And then we will have Jan Logemann, um, German uh, magician, world champion in card magic uh, here. He's uh, introducing you to his upcoming convention, an online convention. And with some great, with some great lineup. Yes. And until then, see the intro first. So if you have already been to our German stream, thank you for turning up one more time. Uh, I hope uh, it will be as interesting as the other one. And uh, yeah, thank you for being here with us. And if you are not here live on a Monday evening or Monday during the day, wherever you are, then uh, welcome and enjoy this uh, YouTube stream. Uh, we had uh, in the last two weeks, well, um, everything about the history of Card Shark um, with Packetrix, um, how we started uh, up to Packetrix, um, more or less up to date. Uh, I suddenly found one more last weekend when I was at a community event here in Germany, and I found one effect that I totally have forgotten. Uh, I did not know that I still had a few of those. And this effect was called mental color. Um, actually, it was meant for the German market. So we never ever did the instructions in English, but I'm sure if there is interest, um, I will translate them and you might be able to get your hands on those as well. But it's really limited and, and not too many items of those available uh, up to you. Um, yeah, and it's called mental color. And uh, it's a great one. It's a cool one, right? Um, let's let's do it. Yeah. Good, good, good. So, here we go, cover cards, good, um, to the top of the camera with us, and it's using several um, cards, well, okay, now uh, this stands for a euro coin, can be a euro, well, I, I took all the items that you might have on you, like a watch, or a, a, a knob, or a, a button, sorry, uh, a pen, a ring, key, keys. Uh, matches, um, a pocket knife, cigarette, and then again the the, the money. So um, let's place this down and do kind of a mental effect. Um, so um, you will have to select something. Mm -hmm. All right, let's start with... Put the, the things here I want to select. Okay, uh, it's, it's actually it's really good here in the camera. So, uh, yeah. any any of those, which one will you want to do? No, but I want to do it here. It's okay? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. Let's start from here, we go from there. Okay. Wherever yeah. you want, up, up to you. Uh, or want uh, to do it there, I don't... No, uh, this time here. Yeah. Maybe, well, yeah, I know, I know. I want to confuse you a little bit because last time you uh, you fooled me a little okay. bit. Okay, so that's okay. why uh, I look on your reaction. It will be a very bad reaction. <laughs> it's like there. <laughs> why do no, I have not the other ones? Oh, yeah, let me get something more. 
It's live, friends. Yeah, it's live. I I have no idea what what he what he what. Ah, you need the the pen. Yeah, maybe I, I do. Maybe I do. You know what? Let's try this. We mix everything up. Yeah. Yep. So we start again. Up to you. Up to you. Up to you. We can do it like this. We can do it like so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, make it easier for you to follow along. That's good. That's not my trick. <laughs> Correct. Okay, what do I have to do? I put a coin anywhere there. <laughs> Hello, are you tired? <laughs> no, I want to. I want to. Let me. Let me check. I want to go here. What a funny. What a funny game. Yeah, it is. It is. Are you tired? No. No. Uh, take I it want up. to bring you on the on the limit. Yeah, and you do. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, do I have anything else on me? Uh, do I have something? More? No. Yeah. The, This one. Anywhere. Anywhere. On the last round. This time you want to confuse me. No, do it. Whatever. We'll try our very best. I, I really have no idea. Let's put those aside. It doesn't look too bad. Well, you know all this, right? He could have chosen any of those, but you selected these three. Yeah, and I'm confused right now because I think you <laughs> did a mistake, but I think... So far, so good. No, come on. Uh, so far, so good. Uh, well, it's not the same color, but yes. Did I confuse you, really? Yeah, again. Uh... <laughs> Shit. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. So it's it's a very it's late. It's ah. a, yes. Uh, what you have to do is actually you will have um, all these items on you. Yeah. And so that uh, when a spectator um, is selecting items, you will put other items there, uh, <coughs> seemingly random. Um, on top of the, uh, or you will hand it to him so that he will place it on the next card, and uh, certainly at the end, uh, all the all the items that you are giving him for selecting one oh, of those matching. is a perfect match and super simple. Um, we had to put it up a little bit because uh, I did not have uh, this one here with me, so we we are a little bit limited on on the cards we can uh, we can show. So I, uh, had to show him where to put something somewhere. But yeah. that's just a small issue. Certainly you would have a button no, with you and then... I play a very works. good theater. Yeah, kind of. It started uh, giving me some sweat. So yeah, and yeah, I know. That was good. You don't, you, don't, you don't trust me, that's your problem. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. <laughs> For good reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, no, no, no. This effect is called mental color. Oh yeah, now do you think now is the right time to ask them for? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Why not? They, they know. They, they know we messed up all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's. If you don't want to miss anything when we are messing up here, then uh, yeah, uh, ring the bell as well so that you will be notified the next time we are on doing uh, stupid stuff. It's every Monday at uh, eight thirty German time. Yes, about one hour talking about magic, magic effects or whatever topics and uh, that was the first one that was mental color it's not in our online store right now because it is a very limited item and i just realized that i could not just um, activate the item again i never added it to the online store when i started thank you very much <laughs> so uh, one more time mental color i guess that tomorrow so in uh, on tuesday and uh, forward i will have this effect in our online store uh, to purchase um, it's a very yeah um, I, i will discount this item as well so very interesting now a much more modern uh, trick or one of the least releases is uh, zizzle an effect of john bannon This is a great one. That is an awesome effect. Uh, it wasn't um, released by Card Shark, but we produced the cards because sometimes we are doing print runs um, on on yeah complete sheets of playing cards, and we are handing out um, the cards to different uh, creators, magicians, etc., so that they can then release packet tricks or effects um, where they need the cards. So let's let's go to the effect. Yeah, we have some of those left, not too many, and as we produce them, I have them. However, um, at that time it was all made in bicycle and not in Phoenix, so don't be don't be afraid of this. So it works also good. Yes. Uh, well, you know the we have the black and white jokers, uh, but also the color ones. We have here actually six um, um, yeah colorful jokers, one ace of spades, and the rest is just. Uh, the colorful jokers we are 
placing the one more uh, for so far over here. Three of them there. Three of them there. And then we are taking one of the jokers. And, uh, well, uh, we will replace them all in this package. Uh, all the jokers will turn over to be face down. But it's pretty cool. Now, if I take one of the jokers here and uh, we'll take one of the others, then this will happen. This one was blue. And uh, with the snap of my finger, all these cards now will turn over being blue. It works only with the snap of your fingers? Uh, if, you, if it should be your snap, then you snap. How is that? Give me one second. I have to put okay. another card there first. Certainly this time it's green. Do you want to snap? And yes, it does. Now all the cards are green. Actually, I'll place the joker over here. And, uh, well, certainly let's take the, out the ace one more time. And... This time it will be purple. And here we go. He snaps. I'm a good snapper. Yeah, you what? Such a snapper. <laughs> <laughs> and also this card then turns into um, one of those. And uh, you maybe have asked, um, okay, we have seen so many different colors. Which color was the Ace of Spades? Actually, it was orange. Now, if you want to snap. Now, this time I have to snap as well. But this time all the cards are showing two totally different colors. Isn't that cool? That's cool. Yeah, so um, all the jokers here and one is there and one another, is there, another but four jokers there. Usually yes, but if you snap one more time, then this will be a perfect royal flush and a nice kicker ending. Um, yeah, and really a cool effect. And all That's you have great. to do is hammer counts, Amsley counts, nothing more. It's uh, easy to learn everything with online instructions. Have fun with this. It's called Sizzle. By John Bannon. Yeah, and um, to um, finish up the whole um, three weeks talking about the packet tricks, um, I wanted to finish with um, introducing you to the most important sleights of hands for uh, packet tricks, and these are the Hammond count that you saw or did not see, uh, plus the Elmsley count and the Jordan count. Did I show something or? Uh, do you want to? Yes, I would say that's good. Let's do this first. Yes, let's do it first with uh, a cool trick that is using uh, some of those uh, of this technique as well. Um, actually, I will give you the space over here. Yeah, and but you can can do only on the no this one. Better. Okay, cool. Much easier. So what I, do you, I understand. Yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Good. What you need is uh, nothing more than uh, just four aces. Mm -hmm. And for uh, indifferent cards, so in this case are the nines. I prefer the the Joker, and the idea is the idea is uh, to transfer some cards, and the target will be the uh, Ace uh, of Spades. This is the target. The uh, Aces are here. The indifferent cards are here. So we start with the three Aces here. And the indifferent cards on this hand, so I can show you uh, the cards again. We put one of the cards here and bring one ace in the middle. Yeah, you can snap cool. <laughs> all the time when you snap. Yeah, the card, the ace, disappears and jumps over there. We do it again. Show you the ace to the last moment. The red ace, watch. <laughs> what a snap! Almost, and it's also it. gone. And the ace is uh, yes, the red yes, one. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah? Yes, right. So what we have right now, there is the the six of spades goes here. So last one. Snap. And, and also this one. Very very nice. Actually, this is um, no, not using any trick cards. It's really an impromptu effect. Yes, eight um, cards. Yes, eight cards. It's by uh, Gabi Paredes uh, from Spain, um, who unfortunately um, sadly passed away this year. A great magician, great card guy. And uh, you learned it from Fernando Figueras. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, it's an awesome routine. And to be able to perform all this, um, leave, leave ah, the cards here. Yes, cards, yes, yeah. yes, leave them out here. Right, yeah. uh, maybe a few more so that we can show also the Hammond count. DJ Belay is here. Hello and welcome. 
Hi, nice DJ to Belly. see you. Hi. Um, so the idea of the um, of the um, Hammond count is that you will have a pack of cards and you want to pretend showing uh, all the cards. For instance, here like being being yes uh, being face down. Uh, only one card would be face up and the rest would be face down. For instance, uh, the setup would be you have the face down cards on top. Um, the indifferent card you want to show and the rest you are you are uh, blocking Use away. Okay, like this, you will show the king and the rest of the cards will be blocked out and you will see one more time the pack. So when I do it like this, uh, let me show the performance first. It will be that you are uh, showing all the backs. Then comes the indifferent card. That will also allow you to have an, uh, um, a change in the rhythm, rhythm because you want to show this card, especially here. And then you're showing the rest of the cards one more time. Um, sorry. So you have the backs here, you have the king over here, and then all the rest would be um, yeah, uh, facing down. Uh, certainly um, the amount of cards that you want to hide doesn't matter. It could be like this, for instance, and it would still be like showing all these cards. The king would be here, and then the rest of the cards. Certainly you should somehow, uh, when you show uh, seven cards, it somehow should appear later on that it will be seven cards. If it's only five, then you have a different problem. Um, <laughs> the handling of those cards is uh, pretty simple. Um, it's in Biddle Grip. It's called Biddle Grip that you are taking the cards uh, with, with one hand uh, from the top with your middle finger and your um, thumb, while this one will still be able to touch the, the rest of the cards. And now you're peeling off one by one and come over as, as close as you can. Right, then comes this king and instead of seemingly taking him off like the, the rest ones, you are now switching the whole package and you're doing it by secretly grabbing this bottom part and pushing over the rest so that these cards turn, uh, go, uh, move over and then you continue taking off cards one by one. Uh, it's certainly better doing it in, uh, in motion. So here, then comes the switch and you continue showing all the cards like that. Um, with the effect sizzle that is using uh, a part of this effect as well, um, you will have a great tutorial not only about the Hammond count but also the Elmsley count uh, with different camera angles, etc. Much better than we can do it. Anyhow, so that is the um, that was the Hammond count. And going uh, so if you want to study more, uh, Google this one uh, or. Get the Card College, the where card everything college, is, yeah. uh, it's one of the biggest, uh, the best books you can have uh, that explains everything from Roberto Jobby. Um, and uh, the next one will be the Elmsley Count. Uh, we already noticed that we have uh, different versions of the Elmsley Count that you perform. Well, that different, we perform. different situations Purposes, and exactly. different meanings. Yes, yeah. um, yes, it's uh, for displaying the cards yeah. or for counting the cards, etc. So different. Um, uh, um, versions are possible and you have to know what you want to do. Do you want to just display the cards being for, uh, being all in a certain direction or do you want to show a certain amount of cards? Now the trick with the Elmsley count is that the, uh, that the card that has to be hidden is on the third position inside the yeah, pack. Maybe, like, maybe I will do it like one more time like so, okay, like that, yes. Like so, mm -hmm. And my preferred version for, for this trick what I use is hold it like that. Mm -hmm. Then I Take one card here. It's really just taking one card one off, card. the rest is aligned. Then a block push. Yeah, all the cards above the bottom card are pushed over as one. You are secretly stealing the other card from the other hand underneath again. So it glides under the whole package yeah. while you are coming over again. One more time. So you are taking one card off. This now will go under the fingers, under, uh, uh, under the cards. You are pushing all two cards over. Take the third one and the fourth one. So it's only the, the first. The third and fourth is all correct. Just one switch in the middle is now coming. This is the block push off. <laughs> it's not that easy <laughs> when you have to pause, yeah, right? Yeah, when, I, no, when I look there, it's not uh, easy. Okay, okay. So I push Just stay one, there. Yeah. two, three, four. The other one, the other version. Yeah, that's use. nice. So these, yeah. these two. Mm -hmm. And, and then, then you can also display it at, the fi at your fingertips, being super fair, like so. Like that one. Uh, was it like this or what do you want to show? Yeah, like the first one was this one. Okay. I, I hold it in the middle. But there's different. You can hold it here, yeah. but you can also hold it here. It's, 
So the interesting part about this that you are ending with the uh, after the Elmsley count the position. Well, with the Hammond count, you know already that nothing has changed when you perform the Hammond count. After dealing, uh, after showing all the cards, it, nothing has changed in the position in the and the uh, uh, orientation of the cards. It's exactly the same with the Elmsley count. Something little changes. Uh, and as you have the um, the special card that you want to hide at position number three, you have either the possibility of doing the Elmsley count and then living with it, that now the card is on the last position, or you are uh, doing a kind of an Elmsley count that you are counting all those, and instead of pushing this card, uh, leaving this card on top, you are putting it back on onto the bottom, but doesn't look too good, but you can do it. And the other one would be that you are then, if you need it, um, you can still hide it by doing a Jordan count. And the uh, the Jordan count is a great add-on or a great uh, partner to the Elmsley. So uh, one more time, it's uh, here on position number three. Uh, we are doing the Elmsley count like so. And now card is on bottom. And when the Jordan, when you do the Jordan count, you are taking doing the same motion. You take the first card. Now I'm tilting over the card a little bit so that I'm freeing up space here. I'm really taking off the second card like so. So all these, the first two moves are exactly the same. Now I align everything as I can and I glide the cards uh, in, in, in between here, my fingers and the whole package. And while taking over everything again, it's like a block push off again by peeling off the bottom card and showing four. I'm doing it one more time. So one. A second one goes off. I'm switching everything, pulling the bottom card out and putting it on top. The cool thing is that now you are back to the position in Elmsley count. And if you are at uh, watching TV or Netflix, you can you can uh, train Jordan Elmsley, Jordan Elmsley, Jordan Elmsley. And until it fools you yourself, then uh, you are getting good. And you should really practice these moves. And um, they are really important and they should not suck. So uh, the rhythm is important. So that you're not struggling when you're doing the, like the secret move. One, two, three. Four. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Then, then you're t it's, it's a telltale and it looks really strange. Um, uh, could you do it with fa cast face up? Sure, I can. Uh, let's do it with let's do it with the aces. Do you have the aces over there, or did we put them or with the sevens? That's the other one. Uh, certainly, the aces. The seven is missing. Here's one. Mm hmm so let's say this one would be bottom down okay and now i can show and it would not even be noti uh, noticed that there's uh, um, the seven of diamonds twice uh, it's still you saw two uh, black um, uh, sevens and and two uh, red sevens now i did the uh, the jordan count again and nothing seemingly has changed. One more time, the Elmsley. Yeah, bottom card is now the gimmick, or the, the, the card you want to hide here. I'm stealing off the second one. I'm switching everything, pulling it out, and put this on top, and you're back to Elmsley position. So that you can do it either way with face down or face up cards. You could even have several cards hidden like this if you want to do it with five. It will also work. It's automatically the same. You don't have to worry about it. So one block push off, two, three, and four, and uh, you did the same now here with this one. And I think the Jordan is also the same, right? I think it's one, two, stealing off everything, three and four. So you can add more cards to it. It doesn't have to be exactly four. Yeah. Oh, did you know that Elmsley um, had uh, four kids? He never saw the third. Uh, anyhow. Yeah, I know. A stupid so, gag. So funny. So, uh -huh. now we come to a part uh, where we have a special guest. And before we bring uh, this amazing magician and creator and champion uh, in the stream. Can I tell you something more? Or may I ask you? Did we explain what you did with the uh, Gabi Pareas effect on, in the German it. one? You didn't explain no. it? No. Okay, then we didn't. Amsleys. <laughs> uh, uh, Amsleys. Yeah, uh, figure so it out. Sp uh, yeah, go back in the video, yeah. watch it, and yeah, I guess you will get the idea what is going on there. So, But before we bring uh, Jan uh, to, to the stream, yes. um, we show you a little trailer of the uh, convention. Yes, coming up very soon. You will find out everything now. What's up?
Once a year, magicians from all over the world gather in a secret magic theater in Hamburg, Germany to hold the 52 Friends Magic Convention. This year is special because they have an anniversary to celebrate. Here is your host, head of the convention and world champion of card magic, Ian Lodgman. Hello, Magic World. What a pleasure to invite you to this beautiful place here in Hamburg. And this time it's a special convention. Even though we did it already four times, this year will be great because we don't have only one gala show, we have two gala shows. We have a magical auction. We built the Ruskin so we can drink together in the evening. It's all about communication. So you can meet with your friends, you can make your own Zoom rooms and talk about magic or anything else. We do have a dealer's booth, we have dealer demonstrations, we have a lot of talks and it's all about the lecturers who come here to Hamburg. Um, so we built up a room with five cameras, so you see every detail of uh, finger flicking stuff or you see the whole room when it's about the body and the physics and the feet and yeah, who are going to be here? It's Wolfgang Moser from Austria, a stand-up special magician who fooled Penn and Teller like Mario Lopez. Um, he's the second time here at this convention, Wolfgang already three times, um, and v Mario talks about the connection to the object. Then Giancarlo Scalia shares his stand-up material with you. Uh, Tobias Dostal, who fooled the heck out of David Copperfield, will show his latest inventions. Uh, Semyon Zidanov and me are going to host and lecture, and we have special translation as well for the German lecturers. That's Thomas Otto. You might not know him, but he is one of the greatest German magicians ever. And he talks about his superb chop cup. So you shouldn't miss that. I'm really looking forward to see you at the convention. Just invite one or two of your friends and to your home and enjoy 52 hours of magic. So see you there. My name is Jan and hope to hell of a program so be with us on the second october weekend and take your chance to ask questions during the lectures or re-watch the whole convention for six months and study rehearse and repeat the whole magic for half a year the whole convention will be translated in perfect english so who would want to miss that you surely don't <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's gonna be great! Woo! Okay. Well, I hope. No, we are not going to translate Mario into perfect English. No. <laughs> so it's funny, like he's speaking English and then upgrading his English. This would be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> we can, I mean, we can do it. Uh, so, yeah, a good idea. <laughs> It's the fourth one in total and the third one we are streaming and we even had like hybrid things like partially live audience and online audience but this time it's only online besides that the lecturers are live in the room. Yeah. Oh, 
Hello, hello. I think now it will work again. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Yes, sorry, uh, Jan, I think we might have to uh, go back and ask one more time. Sorry. We could keep on, it, we could keep on going, I think. So uh, basically what, what we just said is that it's an online convention and we have a little bit of experience. We have this nice tech crew, so it'd be super fluent. Um, we, I've seen a lot of conventions, I think, like, uh, uh, just Zoom from the house, like, it, it looks like this right now, right? This is, I have to mention, this is my mobile phone, this is not the um, the proper, I mean, I have, uh, like, a company who is doing it, who are friends, and they have, like, five cameras and blah, blah, so it'll be super professional and easy to follow, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have to say we are we're already part of the last two conventions, uh, the online versions, uh, and uh, I, I really have to admit it's a very professionally yeah. made. Um, and yeah, thank you. You know what my mistake was? I should have gone from here first to white, where it opens up our microphone, and then introduce. That was your mistake. My all, mistake. All, all the time is your mistake. Yeah, te your, technology. Your, your, I'm whole still, your whole life is a mistake. Can I say that <laughs> during my stroke, when I was not here, everything was changed, and I'm trying to get very comfortable with the whole whatever. Yeah, but we rescued. Yes, we are here. We everybody is now listening. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Jan. Sorry, it's all the time. It's here. We are on trouble. <laughs> yeah. So uh, be, being without without any errors, that would not be our stream, correct? Not like Thank you. Everything works fluid, uh, uh, um, flawlessly in Hamburg when you're doing your convention. Yes. And after our convention, I think one day after our convention, you did the stroke vanish, right? Didn't you? Oh my God! That yeah, was like that was in February. Can that be? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It was. It was it was on the second no it was on the last day on the convention because I called I, I called Stefan Kirschbaum and he was in the convention and I tell him this that uh, the, yeah it was uh, in the in the convention yeah yeah I was there doing a, a, um, a lecture or so on Saturday and on Sunday morning that's it the I lecture was, was the lecture was too hard <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> that's true that's wow wow yeah. Okay, so we have even a, a very um, strong relationship um, and history about this. Yeah, the, the whole thing well, now with the translation, you're, sorry, um, you are doing it with, um, is it Zoom technology you are using so that you have different kinds of rooms where you can go, correct? Yes, we do. Yes, that's right. And you can even choose your private rooms. I think because, I mean, what is important about a convention you, you want to have a good gala show and you want to have good lectures, but you want to meet your friends. So what I really, um, mm, well, how do you say, uh, 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 empfehlen? Um, uh, recommend. What I really recommend is that you just invite one or two friends. You just get like the, the code to get in, but invite one or two friends and sit down at home and have a good time like magicians uh, giggling one weekend full of magic and then meet other magicians. So then it feels way more like a convention. This is the experience of the last times. Like when you when you enjoying it and inhaling it with a team behind the screen, it's way more fun. So yeah, it's 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 really kind of a celebration and I can only highly recommend the, the good part about doing it with a with a live stream and filming everything is that uh, even if you're enjoying it and, and hanging out, what we are doing normally at conventions without the whole thing that is going on right now still, um, you will leave and you only rec uh, recognize uh, the, the whole yeah, um, experiences in the evening. But what have you seen? What could you learn, etc.? Because the lectures were so quick and the day was over and uh, you you missed it but here with you you when you when you when you book this um this convention you are able to re-watch everything for half a year what is a very cool experience uh, and and an offer so yeah really yeah. so enjoy the, all the evenings with your friends and the mag magicians friends from around the world yeah but, and let's 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 talk about the uh, um <laughs> I translate. What is the it? Lecture, the lecture. The, the lineup. The lineup. Let's speak about <laughs> yeah. the. Line. Sorry, I'm not very healthy at the moment. Not right now. So um, yeah. 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 Let's speak. Who is there? What great guys you have there, uh, Jan? 
think it's just important to talk about the guys whom you not know. So uh, very sure you don't know Thomas Otto. He's a German variety artist and he performs as an MC very much. Like for 30 years, he plays, I would say, wow, 300 shows a year, I would say. Yeah, one of the and busiest he, magicians without COVID, yeah. Uh, well, besides that, for sure. Sure, but yeah. But he, he, what he's known for, he takes classics and changes them and makes them perfect. So he polished and polished and polished and polished. And what he's talk, going to talk about is his chop cup. So you might think, well, it's a chop cup. But he has a chop cup. Like, there's so many details not only technique-wise, but method-wise, uh, in a way of holders, magnets, size. He talks about the stage. He talks about light, music, uh, how to attend spectators. So um, highly professional guy. He's not known in the magic community, even in Germany, more or less. Not. And it's the first time he's going to do a lecture. And I know that he's preparing it for a year. So he's a perfectionist. And this is going to be, uh, I think this is worth the convention, even though like Lopez and Moza and so on. And on the second hand, I think it's Giancarlo Scalia. He's, he's super good. He's one of the students of Daniel Ortiz. He, and he started with, with puppetry, then he went to coin magic, and now he's really into card magic. He's doing nothing else than doing breathing magic. And I, But I didn't see a stand-up material. And he says... Mostly, he's performing stand-up, so I'm really looking forward to this. And Wolfgang Moser talks about, this is great as well, he talks about how to, how, how, how are you able to roll your sleeves up and don't wear a jacket? Because Wolfgang, as you know him performing, he always is like, he's like this, but yeah. he, he, he's doing vanish, vanishing bird cages, he's doing all the diminishing cards and all this stuff, but everything sleeveless. So he talks about his servants behind his table, behind his chair, on his clothes, how to use his pants in special ways like Robert Houdin did. And this is great as well. So everyone has a, a different topic. And um, so it's not just about well, some lectures. No, even the lectures are organized. And um, yeah. I'm, I'm really looking forward, especially because these are mostly friends, so. Yeah, uh, um, I can only um, yeah, recommend it as well. It's, uh, it's a great gathering and if you have the chance, well, for talking about the chance, how can you go there? Um, I would say you will write down what it is. It's not working. Ah, let me check one more time. Aha, okay. So it's uh, 52-friends.com. I do it one more time. Wait. Yeah. No. No. Okay. Let's see. 52 minus friends.com slash stand up um, where you can find the whole uh, uh, lineup, the whole conference and everything. And uh, you might be able. Oh, yeah. Now we have an English speaking audience. Didn't you do the lecture notes you had back then in English or was it in German language? I don't remember. We never had any lecture notes. That's the oh, that's oh, I'm best, talking, I, best, best answer. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm talking about a nice add-on when, uh, when they are coming here from the stream uh, and booking something now because you did a very nice and generous offer for the German stream. But I think it's, I know, sorry, Jan, it's in German language. Do you have anything also in English language of you, for instance? Let me think about it. Yeah, <laughs> that's, it, that's it. That's what I want to hear. But in case, before, like, right, yeah, right, like, that's new for you, right? I have the same problem here. Uh, Why you don't speak before about this? I, I just figured it out. <laughs> yeah. Um, what I could offer, I'm, I mean, I should have of my lecture notes we did talk about. I could show like something from my lecture notes, um, which I which I wrote down straight after FISN, um, because of touring, blah blah. But I'm pretty sure that I should have the PDF from the lecture notes. So I mean, I, I, I'm not sure if this is a smart move, <laughs> like to give my those lecture notes. Um, but I think I could, yeah, actually, why not? 
there will be a kind of a bonus and you will think about it. <laughs> All you have to do is when you sign up at, for this conference, uh, in the message field, write down, you have seen the car truck stream, you're interested in, in a bonus that Jan is still coming up with. Yeah. And he will have something in his mind when it's when it's time for it. <laughs> Very straight plan, straightforward, organized till the end. I love you both. That's <laughs> Germany, Germans. <laughs> Very well planned. Everything. Welcome to my life. <laughs> but makes sense, right? Or not? I don't know. Uh, anyhow. <laughs> Yeah, you're absolutely right. I think I just do have stuff on, on the DVD or Roland DVD or something. Yeah, with, with well, it could be a chapter from Roland. That would be my, uh, very interesting as well, I guess. For sure. If I could, then I should make it for, I should prepare it for a download. But this should be possible. Yeah, for yeah. sure. If you need more help, I will help you. No problem. Then I sent you, you know, I sent you some DVDs and you, you rip them. <laughs> uh, yeah. We talk about it again yeah. one more time. <laughs> I wrote them. Oh, no problem. Okay, okay, we'll work <laughs> on this. Perfect. Hey, uh, we talked about packet tricks earlier on. Wait, we, yes. we are not finished right now with the lineup. You take up. You, you, you there take was, over. There are more people in. Yeah, for sure. Um, but like. Uh, Mario Lopez and Wolfgang Moser, I think I, I don't need to talk about them anymore. Uh, Tobias Dostal? Oh, yeah. Tobias Dostal. And I have to say, because I didn't mention this in the, in the German uh, thing, but we are doing um, the um, magic box. I don't know if you know this already, but we are planning to, to build up a magic yeah, box. Yeah, I like saw this. High-end magic box, like a 500 euro magic box, because it's handmade and it's with a one-year course. Blah blah blah. It it it's not important for the English-speaking people because it's not English. But um, this magic box is for um, first of all helping you to be motivated, showing you how to learn magic. Uh, it is for professional and for beginners, so it's smart stuff, which is easy. Mario Lopez, for example, is going to have a box, and in general there's a gimmick, but in Mario's box, I, I, now I can say, there's nothing, because it's all about sounds, like magic with sounds. If you have seen him disappearing lighter, so like he knows so crazy stuff about magic. Or like, but what I wanted to say is, this magic box invades in your life, and it makes you able to do magic wherever and whenever you want, like in a, in a way, it's not like taking out some cards because then everyone knows it's, it's magic time. But what Tobias Dostal is living and what he's perfect in is, is doing magic just like this. Like having some nuts and throwing them from left to right, like six nuts, which is crazy. It's like a juggling trick and suddenly they disappear. So Tobias Dostal, I think for me, he's the only who can like, organically mold magic into the light. And he's very smart in it. And that's why, because I don't know him personally, we, we never gave us a hug. We just did some Zoom sessions and I like this guy. But first of all, I love to get to know him. And secondly, I love his thinking about magic. So everyone talks about stand-up magic in his own area, like Thomas Otto with a chop cup. It's all about stage. Uh, Wolfgang Moser, it's all about hiding things uh, wherever you are performing. And Mario is talking about the relation to the object, and Giancarlo is doing tricks, 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 tricks. But Tobias talks about how to put stand up magic to the bar, to a chat, to a small talk situation. And I love to learn about this because I'm only used to perform in formal situations like close up, attending a table, having a stage. And this huge screen, blah, 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 all the typical magic scenarios. But I, I, I lost the ability and the coolness to just be able to perform here and now. And I hope that Tobias is going to give it back to me. Actually, that's the reason uh, I love to bring him to this magic box. And suddenly he's into the convention. And this makes me really happy. Yeah, really. 
I actually, I have to say, you should have said this in the German stream as well, because I'm totally interested now and I want to see his lecture. That's so yeah. cool. It's really, really cool. The, the last, the last releases, what he, what he has in the market was so different to the normal magic, what you can, what you can buy in the shops. It was completely different, completely. Yeah. Very organic. Very organic. Yes. So optics yeah. was, oh my gosh. <laughs> Very or silhouette. Cool. What what was this? Oh man. Yeah, yeah. Good, good releases. Good release. Very, very good thinking. Sorry, say. Did you see his his pouring stuff? Like pouring drinks on the table and they vanish. Did you see this? No. I don't know. No, if it's no. I I only heard about this because a good friend of mine is uh, very close with uh, Tobias uh, Mark Weide. He, they live together in Berlin. And he tells me a lot of things, what he has to see in, in, his, uh, in his atelier and they go crazy. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That is very, very cool. Ca can't wait to see uh, this uh, lecture. Say again. We, we, sorry for interrupting. But finally, we, we had a Zoom talk like with all the uh, lecturers um, and we just met and we talked, yeah, what can we do, blah, blah, who's doing what on the gala. And we were like all super easy, which is nice. But Tobias, all the time, it was like, yeah, it's, it's cool, but do you know this? And then he shows a trick. So even if we we're talking about how to structure the program, he couldn't stop performing tricks. Do you know this? And he, he starts. So what we're going to do on this convention is we have a room and we, we, we name it, we call it, uh, do you know this? So I think we just uh, put Tobias in the room. Do you know this? And he's just <laughs> doing all the time. Do you know this? And he's performing. And it's great because other people can just say, well, do you know this? And just so it's a nice <laughs> offer. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds cool. That sounds... I hope I don't get another stroke so that I will not miss it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, that's really cool. Um, yeah, I can't wait to be part of it. Um, yeah, and uh, we have a, we both will be here on a Saturday uh, on this this weekend um, doing some stuff as well, being part in the evenings, I guess. Thank you so much for, uh, Share, yeah, for sharing it with us. Sharing yeah. With yeah. Us. yeah. Hey, but you have a pack of cards in your hands, and we talked about packet tricks, right? Want to show yeah, us something a... very very special? Yes. And I change it to things. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> You flashed. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm more or less flashy guy. It's, yeah, it's like... <laughs> actually, I was. I actually, you showed something very cool in the German stream, and I hope that I could uh, learn from you when watching it again in the English stream and to uh, let it uh, uh, let other people from around the world see it as well would be awesome. One thing is important. I think we don't speak about this. Um, Tell me. The uh, convention, when you have no time on this weekend directly, you can watch the convention later, uh, oh. six months, I think, yeah? Yes. For all the guys who are, exactly, yeah. so for all the guys who are already busy Thank in you. two weeks, etc., that's yes, <laughs> what you wanted to say. Thank you so much. That's cool. That's really a good point. Uh, don't miss this convention by not having the time. Just book it because you can watch it whenever you want within the next six months. Certainly you will miss all the, uh, do you know this one? Or uh, the evenings, what is yeah. cool. Eh, you cannot have it all, right? Yeah, but I mean, the do you know this one stuff is after midnight. So come on, what? what? Yeah, get out of the bed and let your wife being there and you, you sneak into the uh, Zoom call. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen this? <laughs> That I, like you know Daniel Meyer, right? For the from Tower Discount, and I, he said he's he's on holiday. He has no time to attend. But in the in the night, I just cover up my mobile phone and under the under the pillow, I just watch the magic convention. So uh, yeah, so, oh, that will be fun. That's great. So let's do magic. Yes, please do. Yeah, let's, uh, I think. Yeah, we need some table here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's oh, about uh, wait, well, um, before you start, before you start, uh, Jan, one more time, um, someone was asking link to the convention. I'm showing it one more time. It was uh, this one over here. This is the English speaking one. And uh, the, um, Gregor, it would be awesome if you put this link also not only in the chat, but also uh, down in the comments or we will link it there. So no problem. 
And uh, yes, Jan, it's all you now. I'm back. Okay. Yes. So, I st I start doing magic. Yeah, please, 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 I, please, 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 please. Can please, I please, please, please. <laughs> please start? Okay. So, uh, very, very actually, uh, one of my basic routines, and um, I, I love to do it and perform it uh, during, I don't know, stand up situation, close up situation, wherever and whenever I could perform. And it's uh, you might know this. It's a trick about uh, three cards. N normally, I, I just ask someone if you could, if he or she could uh, take a card from the center, uh, like or from the top. Imagine there there's an um, audience. So uh, three cards. Uh, one, two, three. Right. Okay. Four cards. It's a four card trick. Uh, my favorite trick with one, two, three, four little elves layish. <laughs> Great. And now, uh, I think greetings right now to uh, David Williamson. Right? <laughs> or it's like, so I take one card away, and it's all about the ending and about the packet trick. And this uh, moment with one, two, three, Four card. No, it's no, it's no. I'm a little bit confused because this are really there is nothing sticky in between or something. No, it's really. So I put one more card away and now I start with my favorite trick. Uh, <clears throat> with uh, one, two, three. Oh no, no, no. Now you could see it's one, two, three. Yeah, now we got it. No more three cards. Did I make a mistake? No, nobody realized. So because before you didn't see three cards, before you did see more than three cards, which were like four, right? So I put <clears> one <throat> card away, and then I did because sometimes people don't get it. The screen is a problem. So it's one, two, three, four. I do it until we do the next German stream. When is it? Like in <laughs> in a week. In a week yeah. <laughs> Okay, so uh, do you have any idea? I should ask the audience how many cards I just got left, 26 or something. Uh, uh, how many cards I got left? Okay, some people think mm, uh, four would be classic or... No, actually it's only one, but as you can see, it's not only anyone, it's it's the King of Hearts. So, which stands for key, K for convention, like convention of the hearts. It's like, to French convention, so I couldn't make a better advertising at this moment. Uh, so let's start again. And it's only one card, but I take two more cards. So the king, we have a seven, and we do have a ten. Actually, no more cards. King seven and ten. I hope you can see that. And it's no Ascanio type of thing, no Spanish stuff. You know, just. <laughs> so let's get started with my favorite trick. And now I need a, need the audience to help me out. So I would you do me the favor and take all the cards and hold them between your fingers. Right? And then I explain how the trick works. It's pretty easy. Just take one card, like the King of Diamonds. If you can see this, yeah. Mark. Yeah. So I take like in a very. <laughs> this was fucked up. It wasn't it. So I should do it again. <laughs> I take the arm, arm card back, but you can see, like, taking this card, you make it invisible and give it to the spectator, and the spectator takes this invisible card and puts it on, and you can feel it. It feels three cards before, and now it's not uh, three anymore, it is four, for sure. Because on top, the invisible king of diamonds is back. Ta-da! And now people are very happy in general. They start to cheer and uh, to say post in Germany, but like this, this will be typical. But not only this, um, because now I told you how this works. Because you realize it's all about Elmsley, and obviously it's all about palming and moving the chair from left to right. But on the second hand, it is about the invisible card. So you take one of those invisible cards, even Oh, this will two, like uh, three, uh, five. So like, like 
thousand invisible cards. And this is the part uh, that I really love about this trick, because once in a while, like lay people come to me, magicians can never ask this, but lay people come to me and say, ah, how is it possible to get those cards back in the card game? Because, like you can see, it's uh, twice as much, right? It's pretty easy. You just take half of the cards, you make them invisible, you put them in the drink, so they're invisible, and then you can drink a pack of 52 friends, and the rest just fits perfectly inside. Um, now everyone knows it's over. No lapping, stand up. You could perform this trick naked. This is what I love about it. Yeah, it's naked. Nakedness. It's it's really a wonderful routine that you are doing there, and uh, well, if you try to explain it with only Elmsley's, uh, let's yeah, start with Elmsley counts first, and then gets closer and closer. And when you are on the same level as Jan, you can be world champion as well. Um, until then, good luck. Thanks. Three things. Three things. Ah, yeah, okay. Because... Well, one more time. I'll give you full screen. In the German explanation, I just talked about the the, uh, the Amsley, right? Just about this idea of instead of starting with the Amsley here and now doing one, two, three, four, I think it's more clever to, you could start here, but now you make a break and then you start counting in one direction. So this makes sense in a way of counting because otherwise you, you would count in this direction, right? So just think about or you do it like Fido, because then it's about uh, the display. I don't know if you talked about this so, uh, on the fingertip stuff. But I think when you start here, make a break, and now count in this hand. So this is important. Um, and the routine is based on palming cards on those three you, you get. So the Amsler is not only for hiding cards, like one card, but the, you could look to like one, two, three, four. Basically, it's no more than one, two, three, four, even though this are I don't know, 20, 50. Um, what I really love about it, uh, this is an unprepared, no arrangement trick, and it works with any deck of playing cards. Um, so suddenly it's getting impromptu because if you say, ah, oh, I'll show you magic, do you have a pack of playing cards? Then it's getting way more interesting because at the end, when the cards uh, pump up, which is the part of the lecture notes because everything else is more or less uh, David Williamson's uh, idea and routine. Um, this is what I love it because it makes so much sense in, in the progress of the routine after like letting cards appear, and then you put them on top of the deck, suddenly it really makes them sense and people believe so great. this. <laughs> and this is so important. People believe you because the whole routine is about nothing else than producing cards. And so people say, oh, this is amazing, so many cards, I don't believe it. And now you got them. <laughs> <laughs> just let them disappear and do nothing. Uh, so what do you do? Uh, this is just a little idea to share. Um, this is classic a little bit, but so Great. strong in this routine. Uh, yeah. You do like a duck thing. Not this. This doesn't work. Not a C. Yeah, while you are squ uh, squishing them, you are spreading out the cards a little bit like this, exactly. Yeah. So you are just bending them convex in your hand. But it's important to not pressing them, but to start deep in the hand, like here. See the thumb. And now squeeze them card for card. And this takes a while. But I mean, this, this doesn't hurt to just practice it. And then from here, when you do this, you just did, 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 you open it up. So. And now keep, the, keep in mind that you need to have a certain angle, because if you do this, People say, ah, well, it's just a bluff. But if you angle them a little bit and you hold a card case next to it, suddenly it looks perfect. This is so many cards. And then it's easy. I would, I would never do this. Or something. Like, this is stupid. Um, so you need time and 
space misdirection. So da da da, and I take and I give it to a spectator. Take the time. Oh, whoop, they're suddenly invisible, and they are really like searching for the cards. It's like important. And it's great to just, I always give this as a present. So I give the card as a present and I leave. And it's, yeah. uh, one of my favorite routines, actually. When I saw it the first answer? time from you, it fools me completely in the lecture years ago. Yeah, yeah. it was so fooling, so great. Yeah, and, and using the stack, yeah, uh, it's, it's really cool. Yeah, it's really so great. Cool. Um, yeah, so um, we had this, the questions here in, this, in the chat, uh, if this would have been kind of a double decker or whatsoever, <laughs> uh, so that you would be able to produce more cards. No, this is any deck of cards. It could be a borrowed one. Uh, someone could hand you a deck of cards, a very worn out whatsoever, and you would be able to do the same routine. What is cool? Because it's really 100% impromptu. What is so very strong and very cool? Um, yeah. That's, that's uh, the skills you will produce when you are preparing yourself for being a world champion, uh, like you are. So that's really cool. Um, yeah, I hope that uh, we will see us again in this Congress in any language, in German, in English, it doesn't matter, that we will see us in the, in the rooms. So yeah, you might have to have a corner for the English speaking guys and then a corner for the German speaking guys. So that uh, because yeah, if, if someone has not uh, noticed it, uh, in the evenings when everything seemingly is over, the fun starts, right? True. True. <laughs> and it's gonna be, gonna be English with, with Lopez and Giancarlo and Tobias. Uh, so it's not just that we're just translating in German convention. So no, it's it's any anyway. It's the German and English, and we just have to translate the German part. So. I hope it works out and we're really, basically we're just looking forward to, to get feedback because it's for its first time. So um, yeah, we don't know if this works out, but I'm pretty sure it will. And um, I'm pretty excited. Yeah, yeah I, I might have to uh, um, send out a newsletter or whatsoever to all my English uh customers and friends and fans etc you have to uh so that that they would notice what's going on here in germany that there's a great convention going on and that they would miss a lot if they would not be yeah. part of this yeah. so yeah i guess we will start uh, another promotion uh, also and we'll support this great uh, event but until then please figure out what would be the bonus <laughs> <laughs> oh good yeah. oh good hey oh. we already in say I'm waiting. You wanted to say something. Sorry for interrupting you. No, 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 no. I just, I'm, I'm just, I'm just happy and say I will find out a solution for for a present for our customers for sure. You know this. We always make this happen. Yeah. Even if we are spontaneous, it all works out in a way. Um. So yeah. Thanks. Just thanks for having me. I mean, again and again, and uh, yeah. Hey, teamwork is everything. Yeah. Hey, uh, it was a pleasure having you in our live stream. Um, it was a pleasure seeing your pack a trick routine and from two and from two effect. Uh, really cool. There you see what you can do with just a few sleight of hands and a great story. And he kills. Good... He kills. Yeah. You and me directly. Super. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> well, yeah. That's what you should do. Um, by the way, did you ever publish this routine? Yes, I did. I did it in the DVD and I did it in the lecture notes. So it's it's part of the, the lecture notes. Yeah, yeah, that is what I what I tell you before. This was the routine what I... This could be. Well, we will talk later <laughs> on, Jan. <laughs> it's in English, I think, because we translated everything. So, I mean, I should have this somewhere. If As, as I say, if you rip my DVD, we can like... Uh... <laughs> Wouldn't that be a nice add-on having this wow. routine as an as a, as an as an explanation? We have to speak after the stream with Jan for five minutes, and then we will find a way what is for everybody's good. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. <laughs> hey, it was awesome. Thank you for being in our stream. Thank you that we will be in your convention as well in two weeks. Yeah. And uh, yeah. So uh, if you have any more questions, guys, leave a comment down there. Thumbs uh, up. Yes, yeah, please. Or two um, times thumbs down. Shall I do this one more time? Exactly so. No, that doesn't work. Uh, I do it here. Uh, it will not work. So uh, please sign up, uh, leave a like. It helps for the algorithm. 
Um, and uh, it's it's really really yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's too many buttons to press here with the electric. Yeah, it's it's new for us having not only a normal live stream with all the camera setups etc. Plus having a guest, uh, something very new. We also have a new background and so on and so on. And on. A lot of new technology. Because I did it. That's why. If you would have done it, mm -hmm, sure. Uh huh. Guys, <laughs> yeah, not for you. That doesn't matter. Forget everything we I, we I've said right now. Hey, uh, we will see us again, guys, in a week uh, next Monday, eight thirty. Um, tune in. Until then, thank you very much. Bye bye. <laughs>